Hello everyone, this is Helberty. In the last video, I showed how to install Homebrew HTTPD Apache server. If you haven't installed it, go watch this video to catch all. When you finish the download and run localhost successfully with the port number 8080, but you can't run it without numbers. To do this, you need to configure the HTTPD server. If you want to learn it, Please continue to watch this tutorial. This episode is part of the Homebrew Mac OS Unix Shell tutorial series. This is the syllabus where you will learn to configure the Homebrew HTTPD Apache server. In this video, it will cover the complete steps of HTTPD configuration, how to run localhost to a web browser without any point number, and user directory configuration. You also need to know some Unix commands. If you are not very good or a beginner of CTI, no problem, I will teach you in this video. So let's get started. Until then, please subscribe to my Help Buddy channel and click the bell button to select all to get my all update notifications. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and share. You can leave a message in the comment area if you have any questions. If you'd like to support Help Buddy in making more videos, welcome to buy me a coffee. Please check the link that is posted in the description below. Open the terminal. You can type which space hyphen a space. That means to show all files. Then HTTPD hit enter to see all your Apache server locations. Or type Apache CTL can also do the same way. You see the second path is in the user as being directory. You can open the finder to see the GUI location which is the original server pre-installed by Apple. However, in fact, you have unloaded it before you installed the HTTPD server, so don't care about it. The only thing is to pay attention to the first location path where Homebrew is installed. If you are not sure, you just type brew, leave a space, list, hit enter. It will show you have HTTPD installed. To learn the comparison, you can copy the Apache server path, paste it into a new command line, make a space hyphen lowercase v, and hit enter. You can see this version 2.4.53. Then you copy the homebrew Apache path, do the same way, put it into a new command line, make a space, hyphen lowercase v, and press enter. And this version is 2.3.51. Suppose my brew Apache version is higher than the Apple version. Apple also automatically upgraded my original Apache before I upgraded my Mac OS. So that's why you can see the two versions differently. But that's okay for me. There's not much difference between 51 and 53. Try HTTPD space hyphen lowercase v or Apache CTL space hyphen lowercase v. Both are the same versions as Homebrew. 
which means they are associated. So now you can type the HTTPD space hyphen, this time with an uppercase V, and hit enter. You can sit at the end of the server config file path. Just go to the finder to see it in the GUI location. You can see the httpd.com file. That's where we're gonna configure it. Open another new terminal. Type pwd to see your current location. Plus enter. That's the user path location where I'm now. You can open the finder to see the path location. When you type cd to change directory, leave a space and type forward slash, then press enter. You're in the root directory location. Change location to the tilde no matter where you are. So you're back to the user directory location. You need to create a new directory to locate the httpd configuration. Type sudo, make a space. mkdir means to make a new directory. Space and the path. I just want to use the tilde equals to the user path location forward slash for the path, and my new directory name projects. You can make yours whatever you like. Press enter. Insert your Mac user password and press enter again. And then type sudo space vi, which is an editor. You can use whatever you want. Space, then in the user projects directory. I want to create a new file called info.php plus enter. You can access in the file. Plus the I key to insert a code here. I just echo the PHP info page for later use. Plus ESC key to access insert mode. Plus chef key and Z key two times to exit. Go back to the first terminal and the sudo space vEditor space copy the server config file path, paste it in, hit enter, enter your Mac user password and plus enter again. When you access editor file, plus forward slash key to search for the line, let's type the keyword listen and plus enter. Scroll down to the line listen 8080 plus I key to insert the line. Change the port number to 80. Then remember that you must plus ESC to access the insert after each modification to prevent accidental deletion of any rows. Then type forward slash user and plus enter. Again, plus I key on this line to change your username. In the group line, change to staff. Plus ESC to access insert. Type forward slash server and plus enter. Scroll down to this line. Enter server name space localhost so that you can access localhost for later. Then type forward slash document root then press enter. Scroll down a little bit to this line, and you can see the document root path. That's the location of the HTTPD Apache server where it's the point to. And put the absolute path. And directory. Let's copy the path and paste it, but you can put your own. 
go to allow override, then change none to all. Have to make sure that these two lines require all granted and option synthesis, follow symlinks are uncommented and correct. So you can access the directories page later. Then go down to directory index to add index.php. Type the forward slash low module and plus enter. You need to uncomment the following lines to enable loading module files. Type forward slash mod underscore proxy dot so and plus enter. You will be on this line and uncomment the hash. After the next few lines, you can see mod underscore proxy underscore FCGI, uncomment the hash there. And then type forward slash more underscore we write and plus enter. Do the same thing, uncomment the hash. Type forward slash more underscore user dir plus enter. Uncomment the hash. Right here, it has a pair of files. Type forward slash httpd hyphen user dir and plus enter. In this line, user home directory. Uncomment the include file to enable access. Type forward slash more underscore auto index and plus enter. Uncomment the hash. It also has a pair of files. Type forward slash httpd hyphen auto index and plus enter. In this line, the fancy directory listings. Uncomment the include file to enable write to use. Go back to low module lines. Make sure these three lines are filed. More underscore author underscore core. More underscore author underscore host. And more underscore include. The hashes need to be removed. Finally, scroll down to the end of the bottom line and add the following line here. Include space, copy this path, and paste there. This is Homebrew HTTPD Apache Server installation location. We will make the directory and file in the following steps to allow access by user path. Users forward slash asterisk.com that means including all files with .com extensions in the user's directory, plus the keys of ESC, shift Z two times to save and exit the com file. In the path of Homebrew HTTPD, create a new directory named Users. Press Enter. We enter your Mac user password and plus Enter again. And then create the user config file in the users directory. Type sudo space v space forward slash and the absolute path. And here is my username but you can put yours, then .com. The user config file allows you to access local host by your username and press enter. When accessing the file, plus I key to add the following command lines. The directory pointed to the homebrew HTTPD Apache server. Make sure the line of option indexes, then allow override all, and require or granted. Those allowed you to access the directory successfully.
Press ESC key to exit the insert. Then press Shift and Z keys two times to save and exit the file. Another encoded file. We need to config httpd-user.com, which is located in an HR directory and placed after httpd.com file. When accessing, you need to enter your Mac user password and press enter. Before configuring this file, make sure to uncomment the three module lines and one include line in the HTTPD config I showed in the preference step. On the user to line, type I insert to uncomment, then index the directory name that's the HTTPD Apache server I set the points to. Plus ESC exits the insert key, then plus Shift Z two times to save and exit the file. We can use which again to get the Apache server path location. Then type should do space Apache CTL space config test to check if there has any configuration errors. Enter your Mac user password to confirm the config test, then press enter. If the syntax is OK, you can move on to the next step. Otherwise, you have to figure out what went wrong. Also, you have to restart your HTTPD Apache server. There are many ways to restart, like sudo space Apache CTL space restart. Or if you still can't succeed, use hyphen K to kill off and reread the configuration files and restart Apache server. Or directly use the Apache server path to force restart. But even better, you can just type brew space services space restart space httpd and press enter. When you are done, go back to your browser and refresh the page. If you still can't connect to local host, you can clear the cache history. Let's try HTTP localhost without any port number. I can see here the index page that exists the PHP info file. And with my username access with localhost, it works fine. If you want more tutorials, subscribe to my Help Buddy channel and click the bell button to select all to get my all update notifications. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and share. Welcome to buy me a cup of coffee and support Help Buddy to make more videos or visit Help Buddy website. Thanks for watching.